噔噔噔噔 ，Roll a thunder, hear my cry. 噔噔噔噔 ，Chapter six. Hi guys, and welcome to a new episode on this channel. Today we'll be talking about、um, Roll a thunder, hear my cry. And today we'll be talking about Chapter six. And by the way, Chapter six is pretty interesting. And there's a new character that comes in into this story, and that is and that character is called Mr. Hammer, which is Uncle Hammer. Now Uncle Hammer is pretty cool and all that stuff. And he, well, I have to say that he is like everything in the family. <laughs> He's older than the Papa. Papa of Cassie Logan, and yeah, and he's also the brother of Cassie Logan's father, and one of the sons, one of the surviving sons, a big ma. He is not married. He is not married, and he only has a nephew. He only has nephews, which is Cassie, Stacy, Cassie, Stacy, Little Man, and Christopher John. And yeah, Hammer Logan was the new character of the story, and it will, he will be throughout the whole story. Yes, the whole book. I I I'm still continuing to read this, right? <laughs> Now this talks about the Granger Road, and this talks about first of all coming back from this town of Strawberry. In the last chapter, <clears throat> in the last chapter, uh, this the last chapter ended with、um, Cassie still at. <clears throat> Still at town and running for the wagon. Then in chapter six, it was the ride home. First of all, I went on like this. Nobody felt felt like talking, even talkative TJ. Yep. And yeah, and yeah. By the time Jack really the Jack the mule, the horse of the Logan family, came back to their farm, they all they all tried to go on, and they went into the houses. Big Ma. Went into the house with Mama, and they started doing their chores. And and、uh, Stacy, Stacy, Stacy and Cassie were supposed were supposed to get Jack into into the barn, but then they noticed something in the dark. And Stacy said, "Cassie, give me that flashlight!" And struck and snatched the flashlight even before Cassie had a chance of giving it. To Stacy, Stacy shown it to an object, which turned out to be, which turned out to be a, a car, the same exact car as Mr. Granger's car, which was like, and he, she, and she, they were like, "Mamma mia, what is Mr. Granger's car doing over here?" And they all ran, and then they all ran and ran and ran, and they, and they. Almost ran so much that they might have went past the house, but instead they ran into the house. And when they came in, they saw Uncle Hammer. And then when they were back to their consciousness, they asked, "What is Uncle? What is Mr. Granger's car doing outside here? And if that's Mr. Granger's car, then why isn't he here?" And Mama said, "This this will be surprising." She said. That that car was not Mr. Granger's; it was Uncle Hammer's. Big Mouth was also surprised by this, and she, and she asked her son about it, and she was shocked, so shocked, in fact. And this will actually get a little bit of humor at the end of this chapter, Joe. Now I say that that, and I say like how Uncle Hammer says it in this book, like this. It turns out that we might have the same taste as stuff, even though we're different races, like that, and then. Well, however, one thing goes wrong. Cassie tells about the bad thing that happened at town and talks about Charlie Sims, the father of Lillian Jean Sims, and Uncle Hammer loses his loses his temper and runs and doesn't let anything block his way. But then the next morning they see Uncle Hammer on the breakfast table with Mr. Morrison there too, and it turns and it looks like they never even went to bed that night. So here's the actual story. First of all, first of all, this is exactly what happened. Mr. Morrison stopped stopped Uncle Hammer from going to the Simses and talked nonstop throughout the whole night, and so long, in fact, that, ha- that Uncle Hammer was so tired when he when so tired that he decided to just go straight back home. 
Yeah, just like that. Also, yeah, Mr. Morrison was also tired, so yeah, they both looked like they never went to bed. And then they went to church. They went to church, and yeah, everything happened so quickly that so everything's happened so quickly. <laughs> Now, I don't really realize what's really happening here, but if you just want simple things to turn, first of all, there's a Christmas present that was supposed to be given to Stacy on Christmas, but instead, since it was cold outside, they thought that they should bring, put it down, or put, it, give it to her right now. It was a wool coat, which was very, very cozy. Yeah, and they went to church, and Teacher said that makes you look like a fat preacher. It turns out it has been an insult, and it was for a trick. Now that will be explained later in the next video, but for now let's just go on. So let's just go on. And now, then, then there's a lot of explanation about Cassie about those black and white races. And by the way, I highly support the Black Lives Matter movement. And yeah. Right after, right after that, right after that, Cassie, Cassie was like everything and everything that happened here and everything happened there and there. But the most important thing happened is, and probably the most hilarious thing that happened in this whole entire chapter is at the end, when the Logans were all coming back from the church to the house. It's because, and they had to cross a bridge. Bridge. There were some white folks' cars trying to cross the bridge. But when they spied the car that looked that missed that Uncle Hammer's car that looked exactly like that looked exactly like Mr. Granger's, they backed off and thinking that it was Mr. Granger allowed them to pass. And then they passed. But then one of the guys were like, oh, "That's not Mr. Granger. Those are some black men." He signaled the other person, and they were like, "Oh, black men?" And they were like, "What the?" And their their expression were like what, the, what the hell has happened here? Yeah, like that. And the Logans just laughed, <laughs> except the mamas, the big ma and mama were like, "Why'd you do that, Hammer?" And it was like, "Well, couldn't resist the chance, but they'll pay for it one day. They'll pay for it." And that's how the last line of this, last line of this chapter ends. Now I say that everything that happened here. The Best part of this is like the last part. It's because of like, let's imagine the scene, or better yet, just watch the drama. Yeah, you just watch the drama on a TV. Just search it on YouTube, <laughs> and then you might will see that scene where the Logans go on, and then those white men are, the white men are like, yeah, and then they when they see the black like, black people are like, yeah. and then signal the other person like, and they were like, what the hell was written all over their face. And that was very surprising. Now let's say I'm a black, and I'm one of those Logans. Then I go to the Hammer place, Hammer, and then we drive to the car, and we trick, we accidentally trick the whites to think that we're Mr. Granger, and they got fooled, and yeah, they will never trust a guy ever again. Yeah, just like that. So yeah, that's basically it. And one thing you can learn from here is how. How even one thing might be so similar that you will recognize it so clearly that you will be able you'll be able to you know do a lot of stuff and memorize some stuff that you won't even know you don't want even know who it is in that car whoever like let's say there's a car and there's a white man right here he drives in it every day but then another guy buys the exact same car buys an exact same car and drives in it every day too everybody mistakes that car for the black's car as the white man's car and doesn't like this. So whenever you see something too often, don't get fooled because sometimes two things might be the same, and there might be a different person in that thing. So yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Junhan out. Peace.